Hey everyone, this is Corey with Stafford ZDC, and today we're taking a look at the Giant Mouse Ace Yacht. I believe that's how this is pronounced. It's spelt J-A-G-T, and is Danish for hunting. So this is uh, the first knife Giant Mouse has designed specifically for hunting. Uh, the, I'm reading off the website here, uh, ample belly for extended sweeping cuts, uh, as well as a narrow and sturdy enough handle for joints and tendons is what they're saying here. Uh, let me go over some specs real quick and some materials. You have uh, micarta scales on this one, black linen with this uh, nice milled texture to it, provides some nice grip. And then you have magna cut for your blade. Uh, this has a wire clip. However, this one is sporting Giant Mouse's wire clip replacement. So you can see that in there. You can see their logo right down here on like the spoon portion of the clip. And then the uh, where the wire clip would be. It's right there. Of course, it's mirrored on the other side. So you're looking at a 3.27 inch blade with a stock thickness of 0 0.155. So a little bit thick uh, for normal everyday use, in my opinion anyway. But this is uh, definitely robust enough if you're going to be potentially coming up against bone or something like that. Uh, you're not really worrying about this flexing on you too much. Uh, so maybe not the best for boning, but... Uh, you're not going to bend and break this knife, uh, that's for sure. Uh, you have a 4.7 inch handle with an overall length of 8 inches, and this comes in just over 4 ounces at 4.2 ounces. And this is currently on sale on Giant Mouse's website for $172. I'm recording this on November 30th, so we are past Black Friday. Uh, so I don't know if that's a residual deal or something like that, but that is the price as I am seeing it. And with that, let's talk about my experience with this knife here. Now, I wear a large size glove, and I think if you're familiar with me on the channel, you know that Giant Mouse just doesn't really work for me uh, in my hands. I know people say that uh, Jens Anso and Jesper Voxnes are like the kings of making designs fit everyone's hand, and in a way they do. This grip is extremely comfortable, uh, really no issues, maybe a little bit of digging into my finger from this spot right here, just a little bit because I have fat fingers. Uh, but overall, it's a pretty comfortable grip, although you don't have any kind of jimping down here. It's all up here. Uh, so it's, you know, really extend your thumb to get up to that. Or, of course, in the applications of this knife, you're looking at more of like a pinch grip with your pointer finger being up there. If you were doing some kind of skidding or um, any other hunting type of use, you're most likely going to be using this type of a grip uh, working uh, with delicate strokes uh, up towards the tip using that belly most likely. So this makes a lot of sense, and this is quite comfortable this way. There's plenty of grip below, uh, so for its intended purpose, this works great. However, for my size hands and this particular knife, this is a little bit cramped. As I said, it kind of jams my finger, and I just don't love the termination of this handle. There's a little bit of a flare there that just helps uh, in a way. I mean, theoretically helps it from slipping out of your hand, uh, but it's not much, and it in my opinion, maybe a little more comfortable if it just trailed off. Uh, just give you that little bit of extra room. Um, or simply, if this had a little bit more of a finger choil, this would be really nice and comfortable just like this, except it does not. Oh, uh, excuse me. So, fortunately for me, just a little bit of a miss ergonomically, but that is nothing new for me with Giant Mouse, so I'm not too surprised. Another thing that I don't like is that blade stock thickness. You know, for me, I really prefer something thin and slicey for everyday carry. Um, not saying this is an everyday carry piece, of course, this is meant for hunting, but I didn't take this out and I didn't do anything hunting related with it, so I'm going to speak to it as an EDC knife. It's just a very thick stock for me, and even with this full height flat grind, it doesn't get very thin behind the edge. I mean, it gets plenty thin, don't get me wrong, like for regular use. It's not, um, not going to be like a demerit on it for cutting cardboard or anything like that, but it just doesn't get paper thin the way that I would like my blades to do. So uh, with that being said, it doesn't really give you the ideal EDC performance in my opinion, uh, but it's certainly robust to handle just about any EDC task uh, because of that stock thickness and because that grind's not insanely uh, thin, this can handle a little bit more abuse than something much thinner than it would like a TRM, for example. The action is really good on this. The detent is absolutely dialed in. 
and you can see it's on bearings with a little bit of shaking it drops shut if you get your finger all the way at the bottom of that lock bar uh, you can avoid kind of this tang area that you see right here uh, you can avoid that which is nice uh, otherwise that kind of hits your hand as you saw the first time i closed it you got to shake it shut a couple times versus if you engage that farther down below you can drop down and then you have a little bit less to uh to shake so that's nice i'm sorry if you heard any background noise my computer decided to make some noise and the screen went black twice so that's fun um but back on track here uh yeah that action on the close is pretty typical of giant mouse where it's not extremely drop shut or anything like that so that's no surprise and the detent's really good on this the reverse flick is maybe a little bit light uh but it's a great tension for that flipper and of course if you're in a thumb flick it works just fine as well like i said it could be a little bit stiffer but it's just about perfect yeah, no real issues there. Uh, you could fail this if you wanted to, I'm sure. Yeah, this style of flipper especially, since you're not extended super far out and you're not getting a ton of uh, leverage, you can miss it. But with any amount of effort applied to it, it flies out. You know, if you're trying, you're not gonna you're not gonna miss uh, miss the flip on this guy as long as you're actively trying to flip it. So that is something. Uh, really nice to see the texturing on this handle is really nice and there are multiple layers of the micarta you can see where it's a little bit lighter and darker that's not just mill lines showing these off this is uh the nature of the material in some high and low spots so that is nice to see nice to see that material being shown off a little bit micarta is a great material for this kind of a purpose you can wash it with soapy water if that happens to get bloody and it'll be just fine. Uh, otherwise, it could harbor bacteria, technically. Um, it's not, you know, it's it will soak up uh, fluids. But you can clean these quite easily. So that is nice. And with Magna Cut and Titanium, you're not really going to rust anything either by putting soapy water all over this. So getting it bone dry afterwards is not super paramount. And then let's talk about this clip replacement. Because this is something brand new from Giant Mouse. Of course, the knife was as well. Uh, but they decided to do a replacement clip for their wire clips. I guess that they don't want, uh, like, Lynch Northwest taking all the um, all the business, so they decided to do something of their own. And it looks a little funky because of this screw here, but if you just pretend that's not there, you can see this is a pretty nice clip design. Uh, from this angle, it looks funky because of that. But remember, that's not part of the clip. That is simply just a scale screw. You can see how nicely it sits recessed everything sits nice and flush just the way you'd like it to you have just a little bit of ramp and some nice rounding on everything here and then you come down uh, this has nice retention on it never had any issues with the clip on this guy and then you have just enough ramp here and then it flattens out to get that in your pocket so it's not sticking up too much in the palm uh, if they did not flatten this out, it would certainly be an issue, but they did flatten it, and it feels great in hand, ergonomically. You really don't notice the clip much at all, not much more than any standard clip uh, would. You know, no real hot spotting coming from this replacement. And of course, with that being said, it's going to be sturdier in this direction, the side-to-side -side movement, if I'm pushing it either way. Now, I don't think I have anything around with a wire clip. I do, actually. I have a Tempest Knives Microburst. Now, this is absolutely no shot on this knife, just the nature of these clips. Can you see how much that's bending? Just there's no actual support in the middle of the structure, obviously. It's, it's hollow. It's just a single piece of metal that carries around to all the edges. But with this, you have a structure that bridges the, what would be that gap. So yes, this moves slightly, but not a lot. Not nearly as much. And that's something that's really nice. Makes it nice and sturdy. And I think they did a good job coming up with a replacement clip. I think it's attractive. And I think that serving the purpose of being a sturdier um, deep carry clip uh, replacement is really nice. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that from them. So... That's where I'm going to leave this one off. Overall, the yacht, I can't speak to its 
uh, actual use, intended use anyway, if, as a hunting knife. However, as an EDC knife, it works just fine. A little thick for my standards, and the ergos aren't amazing for people with larger hands like I have. Um, but regardless, this is a good one from Giant Mouse. And being on sale right now for $172 is a pretty good price. I'm sure you can find these on the secondary for similar pricing, if not cheaper, of course. And I think that's where I'm going to leave this off. So thank you guys so much for watching. It sounds like my computer wants to explode in the background. So if you hear that, I'm sorry. Um, but thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And have a great rest of your day. Take care.